Thanks for staying with us. Now, if you're just tuning in, we are discussing business on Christmas Eve amidst COVID-19. Now, let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Africa one with the hashtag WayShow. Or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. So, Dr. Mo, you know, you, are, you have a, a wealth of um, um, experience. So, that's why we're a bit, we're gearing, de, de, I mean, um, gearing off the topic and coming back into the topic. But now... <clears throat> Um, Christmas Eve today, a lot of people, you know, what did you do today in terms of, you know, business, in terms of, you know, clients, in terms of people trying to switch up their spaces and all of that? Let's just hear, like, your rundown of today, the activity. <laughs> <laughs> Let me first start by saying my today started maybe around 4.30 a.m. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> because I had to plan the day. It's 24th. My work has... Some of my workers are Christians, so they have to do Christmas. They'll celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I had to. We, we have to maximize today to ensure that we do a lot to still be able to hand over before the end of December, before the end of 2020, right? So um, today started around that time, and I was on site on two of my sites, and I had to hit the market myself, wow. you know, for some selection, curtain selection, da -da -da, you know. So it's been work, 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 and I had to rush back home to meet this so wow. today it's just been work really. work site work installations and all that so in the market yeah okay go ahead okay. i was going to say in the market um <laughs> dr moranike what was the experience yeah. like with individuals were they rushing in were they wearing their that nose mask were they wearing their nose mask were they doing what they were supposed to do washing their hands using their hand sanitizers yeah, so inside market <laughs> mm. <laughs> did you That's notice anyone thing, you know. doing it so, Honestly, a lot of people, a lot of people were not with their nose mask or all that. You know, I had mine on though, you know, but like almost every year I had mine, you know, but uh, a lot of people didn't put theirs on, you know, for some of us that we actually had a really good shave, you know, with the COVID-19 with loved ones, you know, that yes. went through that illness, mm. <laughs> you know, you, you don't have a choice, exactly. you know, so hitting the market, the market was rowdy. You know, there were a lot of people, a lot, a lot of cars, you know. But funny enough, the road coming back home was actually free. The That's traffic wasn't so bad, yeah. you know, coming back home. But the market was rowdy. The market itself was rowdy, you know. But a lot of people weren't doing the foot, nose mask and sanitizer thing. But first, when I was going into the Joshua Market, the security at the gate will tell people, we're standing there, and you will tell them, where's your face mask? You know, and some of them will tell you that it's in my bag, I will wear it later. And then, uh, OK, yeah, go, go, go. Oh, you my know? Or when money changes and all that, you will tell them, go. Oh, my goodness. So, wow. <laughs> ha, Moenike. So <clears throat> in terms of purchase power, what do you think happened in, in the business space in 2020? Do you think a lot of people had a lot of um, purchasing power, you know, outside of your space, you know, just generally in terms of buying? <laughs> Uh, I, I, in terms of buying, I think in, in, in number a number of people slowed down in 2020. Mm -hmm. You know, a, lot, a number of people slowed down in 2020. You know, because mm -hmm. um, like for example, I spoke with um, like two of my friends, asking them about Christmas. What's happening for Christmas? What's about? I'm Muslim, you know, and I was hoping I'll just go and celebrate around the corner, mm -hmm. but they just sent a message to me to tell me that we go solo. <laughs> 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 you know so I, I see that a lot of people are keeping it kind of quiet yes. you know for Christmas so. <laughs> that's very interesting <laughs> that's very very interesting because I think mm -hmm. I think it's just a general thing and that's why it was really important for us to have this conversation because it's not something that we want to um, overlook mm -hmm. right business really slowed down for a lot of people mm -hmm. this year you know mm -hmm. I mean, I was watching the news today and I saw a, 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 a store that would normally be very busy, extremely busy because they had these beautiful hampers and all of that. But it, there was no single customer there. There was no single client there. No, right? There was also something no, that So I, I was going to even ask, Marenike, yes. did you do any special package? Did you do anything special for, for the season, you know, just to do maybe like sales or something? Even though they've taught us that we should not be buying things on sales <laughs> yesterday. But did you do anything <laughs> special? So in case somebody's watching and they want to just do a dime minute, maybe I want to change my throat pillows or whatever. Did you do anything special? Well, honestly, no. 
I didn't do anything special because uh, we really didn't focus on the retail shell, right? We had projects we were working on. So mm. we actually were thinking of doing that, you know, but j- there just wasn't time. Before I knew what was happening, you know, it's Christmas and, mm. you know, there was just no time to do that. You know, there was no time to do that. You know, <laughs> but, during, um, but at oh, least we tried to do a bit of package for, for our staff, mm. you know, because I think that they've, they really, really, really tried this season. Yeah. You know, all hands, you know, have been on deck mm-hmm. for us. I wouldn't have two of my staff break down. Wow. I broke down like yeah. last week, you know, oh, and yeah. when two of them broke down, I didn't have a choice. I had to get up again, you know, mm. to keep running. Mm. You know, so. Okay. Now, there, there is something that we usually do um, Christmas Eve. Everybody loves fireworks. Okay, so but now everybody's saying thanks to Ensa's saga, we are no longer into the um, fireworks uh, uh, spirit because we don't want to hear the sound of fireworks. So, what do you think it would be like in uh, for those who are in the fireworks space that are selling, that are selling selling uh, fireworks? Yes, what do you think it would be like for them currently? Would you think people will also um, go back and still do it? And buy from them? Do no people are not buying. If you're not doing fireworks, they're not buying. <laughs> I, mean, I I was listening to the news on which I can't remember right now, um, a few days back, and they were speaking to some women in the market. And they said they they did not make sales selling Christmas decorations and all that. The woman said that last year by this time she would have made a sales of about two hundred thousand, but now she's not even made thirty thousand. Oh dear. You know, so so it, it's, it's been terrible, I guess, yeah. for them. I think just I, a lot I, of people just feel that was the point. Mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm going to come back to that question, but let me come to Mori. Mori, you are be, you've been quiet, oh. <laughs> Where is she? I'm pregnant, so I didn't want to. So I'm right here. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. I've been pregnant. I've been saying, can I ask? I oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear you. Okay, go ahead, please, Mori. No, and I have to pull Moreni K back, but this question is quite important. Yes. Right? Okay. Your profession, have to, um, your profession entails that you have to move from one location to the other. And I mean, from what I've been hearing, your major base is in Lagos. And I feel like the middle name of Lagos is traffic. This is Lagos is traffic. So, how do you navigate, you know, being like punctual with the whole Lagos traffic saga? Does it affect you in any way, or do you have a hack to, um, you know, mm-hmm. make the whole. I'm going to get Moreke a chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> it's been, well, Honestly, I must say it's been it's been really, 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 really stressful trying to move around with the traffic. You know, especially when I have to do um, site check. You know, I have my supervisors on site, but I have to get to at least a site like two times in a week. You know, but for appointment with my clients, I think my clients they've been kind enough. You know, to tell me that we can have Zoom meetings. So when I have to see my or have a meeting with my clients, we have Zoom meetings. They've been kind enough, you know, to do that with for me, you know. But for site visit, I don't have a choice. That was the day I had to visit a site, you know, in um I had to visit two sites actually, but I ended up going to just one site because I left Magodo around eleven o'clock and I got to the first site around four o'clock hmm. in the afternoon. So I didn't have a choice. So it was really it's been really terrible, okay. you know. Okay, so around. let me it's take really a terrible. few comments in. Maury, do you want to say something again? No, 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 I'm good, thank you. Okay, so Angela says, I went to the supermarket today. It was crowded, and I ended up spending over 30000 far away from my plan. So Angela, is, she's spending money. Angela, I want to be your friend right now. <laughs> and Rolake <laughs> says, when you, know, when you know things are different, the sales, um, the sales were so small and non-existent. In fact, with all the promo, I have not gone to the cinema. That's from Rolake. So even mm. even with all the promo that they are promoting, mm. she's not been able to go to the cinema. Yeah, you are going to take. Your yes, talk. and this is from Mrs. Ayo Dele. She didn't state the type of business she is into, but basically she said that business has been tough this year. Yes, we have experienced a better patronage, but very far from the regular sales. sales. So I think she, yeah. she had even get thrown light into the type of business she's into. Yeah, would have, would have had an idea to. Well, Marine, you know, you know, I want to go back to what Isi mm-hmm. had said because I had kept it as a, as a, like a, what's it called? Saving it's the best for last. Saving the question for last. Mm-hmm. Because you mentioned okay. something about 
relevance. You mentioned something about pro problem solving, mm. right? So when I was driving through the roads today, I saw Christmas trees, I saw Christmas light, the same thing. It's like they bring it out every, every uh, a October. week to Christmas, they bring it out mm -hmm. and they, do, they sell. Then the ones that they cannot sell, they go back and warehouse January. it till the next December. Mm -hmm. What do you see business, the business world looking like, you know, going forward? Even be outside of COVID now, because you, you mentioned so many key things that you're doing for yourself. In terms of positioning yourself for 2021, mid-2021, you're already doing a course mm. that is going to prepare you for what you are planning to do in mid-2021. Mm -hmm. How many people are in that space where they are thinking personal development and growth and I need to invest in myself so that I will be positioned and ready for when the opportunity comes? So when we see businesses like this, how do we even navigate it? How do we go about it? How do we talk to our fellow business people, right? You're selling clothes, for instance. Are you going to be selling clothes the way you've been selling clothes before? You're selling Christmas decorations. Are you going to be selling it the way you're selling it before? Mm -hmm. Or what is, the, what is the innovation or what are the things that we should start looking at in terms of you know, revamping that space, the business world? Um, you know, like I, like I mentioned earlier, I mentioned that um, for whatever business that you do, you need to look at your business. You yeah. need to believe in your business first, because if you don't believe in what you do, then it's actually difficult to make other people believe in you, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you believe in whatever you're doing, you know, you must have a vision. Where are you going to with this business? What's yeah. the vision? Do you understand? What's the big picture? Do you understand what I mean? So for whatever you do, when you start to look at your business in that way, then you now come back to yourself. So the first thing is me setting the goals. The first thing is me seeing the vision. Where am I taking this business to? Where do I see this business probably in five years, in 10 years? Where do I see my business, right? So if I see that big picture, don't worry, be high. You know, set those big, hairy, audacious goals, right? Mm -hmm. That will set your hair standing. Don't worry, just set that. When you set those goals, then come back here, come back in time and ask yourself, who do I want, who do I have to be to be able to achieve that, mm -hmm. right? Honestly, as, as as much as it sounds, because a lot of people will tell you that it's motivational speaking, motivational speaker comes, they come up and tell you all of this. <laughs> Honestly, they actually work. Because for me, I, it, that is my experience. I started my business from it being a passion. It's mm. just a passion. I remember when my husband told me about having staff, you have to have the admin. I was looking at him and I'm just wondering, I was wondering, what's wrong with this man? The little money I'm making from this man want me to share it again. <laughs> Do you understand? And now I realize that it is like this man seeing what I didn't see then. Mm. All right. So when I take it, I took a particular class. I went, I attended the Stanford State program. And for me, I think it, things began to change. Right. Then I did my neuro linguistic programming as well. And there I got my mindset, you know, changed there. So with all of these things, I knew that I just needed to invest in me. And for whatever investment I, you know, I make in myself, I begin to see things more clearly. So I think that people must start with that. You must first invest in yourself to ensure that you change that mindset, to be able to see things, see the bigger picture. Do you understand what I mean? You know, because I see some people, I remember Marini Care probably years ago, you know, if you tell me that if, if you, I need an office, I need to pay this much for an office, you'll wonder that why would I want to put that much money? Do you understand? But now I ask myself, why would I not want to put that much money? Do you understand? If I see the bigger picture, and if I feel that that office space is going to do something for my business, because it's me setting the goal first, it's me seeing my business where I want it to be in probably two, three, four, five, or 10 years. Then I now come back and I begin to ask myself, what are the things I need to do? Hmm. What are the things, who do I have to become to be able to achieve that? Hmm. You know, so if I have to go through whatever training, I will start. Like I mentioned to you, this hotel design course that I'm taking is actually a 12 month course, but I compressed it to a 12 week Course. So you can imagine doing a 12 month course in 12 weeks. Thank God for the Christmas break. It's been crazy for me, crazy, crazy. But it is what I have to do to get to where I'm going. Absolutely. Do you understand? Absolutely. So these are the things I feel that people have to start looking at things in that manner. You have people that they hold 500,000 in their pocket, right? And they do a certain kind of business. And you cannot even invest 400,000 or 300,000 in the business that you're doing. Hmm. Because they don't believe in that business. They don't want to waste that money. They'll rather look at the money in the bank account 
and now start to struggle or look for somebody that will come and dash me some money or just don't worry just because i'm your friend i tell my family members don't give me business because i'm your sibling don't give me business because you know i'm capable of delivering do you understand? Everybody, you are my client. If you're my brother, you're my client. Whoever you are, if you're my friend, you are my client and I will treat you as such. And that's what the way we have to start looking at our business. We need to take our businesses seriously. Then the business too will thrive seriously for us. Absolutely. That's okay, yesterday we had a guest. <laughs> <laughs> First, uh, Dr. Moranike, you're so passionate. I really love the way you talk. Yesterday we had a guest. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, our guest <laughs> talked a, a lot about um, how well you should save and how, what you sh how you should control your finances during this period. And she talked about black tax. And black tax is a situation whereby whatever earnings you have, you have to give to those who do not have. In businesses, yeah. they do that, correct? So I would assume that in your business, especially during this period, you have to do a bit of black taxing. You give back. So you give back to society or you give back to those around you who do not have. So how much do you think you have to budget to give to those who do not have? Hmm. Okay, yeah, now I, let me talk I about that myself, was going right? to come. Um, I, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, well, um, I wasn't expecting that though, but... Mm. Um, even my religion will tell me that I have to give back. Mm. Sorry, I'll get a little, a, a little religious, you know, this time. My religion tells me that if I have something, right, the part, the amount of it that I give out is actually what I've saved. Mm. Now, that's spiritually, right? So for me, it's very important to give back. And in the course of business now, I've got it to a point where I feel that um, it's actually not about the amount of money or the amount of um, cash you're able to save, but actually the amount of lives you're able to touch. Um, someone came to my office sometimes back and she said that she was just, you know, delving into interior design and she needed, you know, me to give her tips and all of that. So I told her, I was excited. I told her, sit down. Then I started, you know, she told me that, ah, no, please pause. Let me bring out my jota. She started to jot, you know. So she told me, she paused and she told me, she said, I mean, this is interesting that she has not met anyone, you know, any interest. The other people that she's spoken to is like, it's going to be a competition, exactly. right? So they didn't want to share so much. But here you are, you're telling me everything because I'll tell her, you know, this is what it, this is the should do, this is the must not do and all that. And for me, it's simply because I've got it to a point where I've realized that in whatever you do, what is most important is how much you are, you are giving back. You know, how many interior designers will I be able to look back tomorrow and say that I am part of your success story? Exactly. That is what's most important to me. Mm. So I think giving back is really, really important. We don't really put any amount to it, right? But we look at, okay, who are the people around me part time? I look at family members, I look at people that, because charity, they say, begins as well. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I, exactly. So I first look at the people around me, people who do not have around me and ensure that I keep them. But one thing that I see is that I've moved away from that, thinking that the amount I'm able to save, the amount I'm able to keep, it's not about that. Mm. But how much do I put into my business press? I need to put a lot into this business because it has to keep growing. You Absolutely. know, because if it doesn't keep growing, then the people I want to help, I will only be able to help them for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. But if the business keeps growing, then I will keep being successful and we'll all be successful, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that, that's it. So, because we we ran out of time, I wanted to I wanted to quickly get your thoughts on collaboration, partnerships and collaboration. You know, in terms of business, but I don't know how quick you can answer that question because I have one Sorry, final question. Yeah, go ahead. That. I'll just quickly say something. Yeah. All right, for collaboration, what I believe is that whatever you do, you know, I'll go back to value proposition now. If I'm giving my client the best of myself, right, I cannot be a master in everything, in, even in interior design, all right? Yes. So if my clients want something, there is somebody else in the design industry that will be better, all right, or that will be a master at that. So I should be able to collaborate with that person to do that aspect of the project while I handle the rest of the project. Okay, so, so for me, that's collaboration. So. so the final question is, how much did you make today being Christmas Eve? Eve. Tell us. He won't say think? that. How much did you, you make? Think? Because I want to come and collect Titan offering. How much did you make How today? Much did you? No, How much? Tax. See, she's be, she's pretending, no, she's pretending like she cannot hear me. Wait. How much did you make today yeah. on Christmas Day? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much.
so much, Dr. Moredi Kemasharu. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a pleasure. We've all, we, we always have fun when we have you and we <laughs> run out of time. Maury, you be quiet. I hope you are still there. <laughs> yeah, you people are always abandoning me. But I'm sorry. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did you have it's anything okay. to say finally? What your final thoughts? Okay, so she was... Um, I'm going to have to pull her back a bit. Eh? We don't have time for pulling back. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. We're talking about investing in yourself. So I just want to know, you know how, like, if you want to start a business, business owners will tell you be the best at what you do. So do you wait to be the best at what you do before you venture into a business or do you just start and then learn along the way? In one minute. Please start. Please start. Thank and you. And learn along the way. Thank All right? You. Thank you. That's it. Thank you so much, Dr. Renike. Thank you, Maury. Thank you, Isi. It's been a very insightful conversation. Keep all the conversation going on all our social media platforms at Way Show Africa 1 on, on Twitter, at Way Show Africa on IG, and at Way Show on Facebook as we continue to hear what you're saying. Thank you so much again, Dr. Renike, Isi, and Maury. In case you missed today's quote again, it's just a funny quote. You know, men can do their Christmas shopping for 25 relatives on Christmas Eve in 25 minutes. <laughs> Let's go and practice that. <laughs> we'll see you like tomorrow being Christmas Day as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. <laughs>